What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I cover all the lines of sight, wall runs, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in Infinite Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the third of the Continuum DLC maps, and that is Scrap. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so the most interesting thing on Scrap is going to be these magnets. There are three of them, and also I found out you get a line of sight to each one of the other magnets from every magnet that you're on. So if you're on a magnet, you can see the other two magnets, and you can get long shots from here, pick people off there, and it is relatively common for people to pop up here, even though you are relatively exposed when you do this. So just know if somebody just killed you from like the B-flag magnet, for instance, and you spawn over by this magnet, you can very easily jump up here, get a line of sight on that B-flag magnet. Same thing goes with that magnet there or if you're on the b-flag magnet and you expect other people to be on these magnets here you can use those to pick them off now getting over to this area right over here if you want to get a nice little line of sight into that window area of that tube where the a flag is the best line of sight that i have for you is to jump up on this area right here and there you go great line of sight on them you can crouch take cover stand up and you got an excellent line of sight now if you find yourself over in this area of the map and you expect enemies to be coming where the c domination flag is over through there some of the best lines of sight I have for you guys is going to be first off jumping on top of this blue thing and you can crouch here because this gives you a great line of sight over top of this tube and you can cut off a lot of your body by crouching and just standing up if you need to stand up to get a slightly better line of sight. Also right over here is a great power position. You can use this for cover very very effectively and you can easily pick people off as they come through there. Now if you expect somebody to be on this magnet right over here and you're coming through this doorway right here there's an excellent little check spot and you can actually shoot them through here as well. You can just look right through there and easily pick somebody off if they are standing on that magnet. It's much better than sprinting out in the open before it's too late and he can basically get a clear line of sight on you. Now getting over to the B domination area of the map, this is just a little trick that you can use. It's not the most effective thing, it's just something that some people may not consider. You can actually walk on top of that area there, but only for two or three seconds. You get that little warning indicator. If you linger up there, you will get yourself killed. But a little route you can take is to jump up here on this wall run. Then you can quickly run on here, jump off, and there you go. You can attack people that way. It's just something that they sometimes don't expect. Although, of course, you are right out in the open. So uh, if somebody's good with their shot, they're going to be able to pick you off there, no problem. Now, if you have enemies that are up in that window over there, the best line of sight for them is actually really simple. As long as you have this area clear, because that's also a very common spot. Once you have that clear, all you have to do is back off from these tarps, and there you go. Perfect line of sight towards them. You can easily crouch to take cover, which they can't do from where they will be up there. So you definitely have the advantage in this gunfight. Now, right over here is something that's super simple, but I just don't see people using it. If somebody's standing up here and they're trying to lock down this area and pick people off as they come around that corner or through the pipe right there, they'll just like crouch right here. And that's not the greatest option because you can actually just stand right over here and use this for cover instead. Gives you much better cover than just crouching there. And if you need to, you can crouch to completely take cover, stand up, and there you go. Excellent line of sight. Now, right next to that spot, if you want to get a jump snipe on the people that are up in the window over right behind there, it's actually quite simple. You just wedge yourself right into this corner right here, jump up, and you should be able to see the window. I just have to figure out where it is. There it is. It's right there. So you just jump up like that, and you might be able to pick somebody off through there. Now, if you're looking for a really easy long shot spot, all you have to do is wait till somebody comes up on that magnet there. If you're all the way back in this area, even with a sniper rifle, this will still count as a long shot. You can just stand right back here. Look through the window, and there you go. Nice, clear line of sight on that magnet. This also works if you are coming off a spawn back in this corner, and you just want to check to see if anybody's at that magnet. They will never be looking this far back, so the chances of them killing you if you use that line of sight are basically slim to none. Another spot I like to use if I'm coming from this direction and trying to push this area of the map here, instead of just going around the corner where they expect, I like to jump up on this tire, and that gives you a nice overlook on top of this tube here. You can see anybody that might be in that area there. You can kind of see a little bit over in that area. And if you need to, you just drop back down and you have complete cover. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for all the spots I have for you guys on the map Scrap. We have one more map in the Continuum DLC to cover, and that is Terista. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.